This video is a critique of Hasbin Hotel. Who made it, what it is, and why I stopped liking it. I own Montage 2000 songs, so I can play it over the montages for you guys. So it's stuck, really cool, a montage is really cool. Husband Hotel is what happens when a bunch of fatherless children come and try to critique the Christian worldview and the Christian idea of hell. Created by Vivian Medrano uh, some time ago, I'm not even going to search it up, I forgot. Um, it's about the daughter of Lucifer, the Prince of Pride, trying to rehabilitate the sinners in hell to go to heaven. Now that doesn't sound so bad. But heaven in this series is portrayed as the elite, while hell is portrayed as the poor, the low class. Only the rich enter heaven and only the poor go to hell, right? It, it's, as if, it's as if she thinks that there's discrimination in hell or heaven, which there's not. Anyone can go to heaven and anyone can go to hell. It's your choice, all right? Now, that choice, whether unconsciously or consciously, is made by you by your actions, which is what we believe, right? If you are a moral person who follows the commandments, who does everything that Jesus Christ has told you to do and holds true to the gospel, then you will be, cat will be canonized as a saint in heaven. But if you, don't do, if you do the exact opposite of that, if you go your life not caring about anything, not doing anything good for any other person and not doing anything good for you, you go to hell. It is your choice, by your actions, you go to hell. But this series deprives the free will of people by saying that simply murdering one person, boom, instantly go to hell. This isn't over! What the? You ever have that feeling where you just want to choke hold a character so hard that they die twice? That's how I feel every time I see this stupid deer. No, sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven. Yeah, no. What? Yeah, mm, sorry. Yeah, no. What kind of... St. Paul, the real-life person, murdered hundreds of people, hundreds of Christians, hundreds of righteous people, and yet he is in heaven because he converted and repented of his sins. In this series, repenting does nothing. That's the reason. That is the main reason why this series is complete and utter garbage. Now, some of you are probably saying, Cade, you sound like, you sound like you're whining over a, a cartoon, you know? You're whining over something that doesn't, that, that doesn't matter. It's a cartoon. Who gives, like, who cares, you know? Uh, to that, I say, fair, okay? I'm, I'm critiquing a cartoon, for God's sake. I have better things to do with my time. But the thing is, it's a cartoon that deals with our worldview from creators that have a hatred for our worldview, who hate people like you, who hate people like me, uh, trying to be faithful Catholic. That's what I am, okay? I want to be a priest. I want to stay true to the gospel and spread the message of Jesus Christ. And this series takes a fat dump all over that. And that's the reason why I'm doing all of this. Okay. If it, if it, any other cartoon series, I can just say, oh, it's bad, not make a video on it. But this is the only series that I'm making a video on just simply because it messes with our worldview and it has thousands, maybe even millions of fans. That scares me. Now, the reason why I stopped liking all of her cartoons is because I really figured out who she was and what she was making. Because before that, I just looked at the, I, I looked at the series at face value. I looked, oh, it's just a funny series with funny demons voiced by Brandon Rogers. Like, that's all it is, right? I was wrong. Most of us were wrong. 
this series is mainly to take a big dump all over Christianity. And that's all it is. And people tell me, oh, you can't criticize this series because it has Vizzy Pop's own religious beliefs on here. Well, guess what? Religious beliefs can be wrong. Granted, most of them are, okay? Even, even denominations of Christianity can be wrong, okay? You can't just tell me that I can't criticize a series because it implements someone's religious belief when people constantly make fun of our religious belief, of the Catholic faith, and of Christianity in general. You, you think I can't criticize something for, for, um, for misrepresenting us? I can't criticize that. Okay, fine. Then um, I guess you can't criticize me then. You can't criticize what I make. You can't criticize any other person's religious um, teachings or anything because it's my religious belief. You can't make fun of it. Oh, except people do. People do. And people profit off of making fun of our religious beliefs. And yet I can't criticize Hasbun Hotel for it? That is some major hypocrisy here. Now, I did call this a critique of Hasbun, but it really is just a critique of Vivzy Pop shows, which, I mean, not all of them, of course. Some of them are, some of them aren't Hasbun Hotel or Hell of a Boss related, but mostly this is Hell of a Boss, considering that's the only series that's out, and that's the only series that I've actually watched, considering her... The, the only thing that's out for Hasbun Hotel right now is a pilot that's outdated. So, uh, the, the episode that sort of sparked this idea that, that, this, that, that this, is for, this is hatred of Christianity is the episode titled Cherub. Well, howdy, I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. Guess you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Does it make you want to cry? When your loved one has to die. Does it hurt you through and through? When your face is turning blue. Well, luckily for you, there's something we can do. We can help keep them alive. So, so you can watch them thrive. Cause here at THD, are you Surround yourself with people who lift you up, so ditch your loser friends who you can't use. Wow, that's really something God would say, right? Everyone knows heaven. Yeah, the place where it's in the clouds, golden palaces, and everyone's nice to each other, and it's filled with nice people. This is truly what happens when you abandon God. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention all the constant sex jokes and LGBT pandering.